Well, the maker of OxyContin has reached a settlement over its role in the nation's opioid crisis. The Sackler family, owners of Purdue Pharma, have agreed to pay as much as $6 billion. Settlement calls for the family to give up control over the company. In exchange, they will be protected from civil lawsuits. That settlement would provide more funding for addiction programs, overdose medicines, and to victims. The crisis has led to 500,000 opioid deaths over the last two decades. A judge still has to approve that settle, settlement. Detroit shuts down a marijuana dispensary it calls a thorn in its side for the last few years. Green Life Lounge had four locations and police cited ownership several times since 2019. The biggest violation is the claim that the owners Gregory and Raquel Cook didn't have a license. DPD also says it confiscated illegal drugs and guns from the locations. The Detroit Law Department reached a consent agreement with the Cooks. A judge eventually ruled that they had violated that, resulting in jail time. Without regulation, they could charge whatever amount they want to charge. It would, may undercut the actual honest business uh, in the area. When you have unlicensed activity, uh, anything goes. Well, police said that they had a nice assist every time the businesses would reopen, as the Cooks would advertise on social media. Well, Governor Gretchen Whitmer called a Republican tax cut both fiscally irresponsible and unsustainable. Comes as the Republican-led legislature approved a $2.5 billion plan that would include lowering the state's income tax rate. She's pushing for targeted tax breaks for retirees and low-income workers. In a letter sent to Republican leaders, the governor is calling for lawmakers to come together and negotiate on a compromise. Well, still to come, a major change is coming to Costco, and customers may not like it. What the chain is doing for the first time in nearly five and a half years.